Former Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is on the brink of a dramatic comeback, after partial results showed he was on course to win a majority in parliament with the far right's help. With 86% of votes from the general election counted, Mr. Netanyahu's bloc is set to win 65 out of 120 seats. We are close to a big victory, he told jubilant supporters in Jerusalem. However, he will be dependent on the support of the ultranationalist religious Zionism party. Its leaders, Itamar ben Gvir and Bezalel Smotrich, have gained notoriety for using anti-Arab rhetoric and advocating the deportation of disloyal politicians or civilians. Mr. ben Gvir was a follower of the late, explicitly racist, ultranationalist Mayor Kahane, whose organization was banned in Israel and designated as a terrorist group by the United States. Mr. Ben Ver himself has been convicted of incitement to racism and supporting a terrorist organization. Last month, Mr. Ben Ver hit the headlines when he was filmed pulling out a gun after being targeted with a stone thrown by Palestinians while visiting a predominantly Arab area of occupied East Jerusalem and calling for police to shoot the culprits. Speaking to reporters on Wednesday, Mr. Ben Gvir promised to work for all of Israel, even those who hate me. 1. Benjamin Netanyahu, Israel's comeback leader. 2. Far-right advance in polls as Israel election looms. Mr. Netanyahu, accompanied by his wife Sarah, appeared at his Likud party's election night venue at 3 o'clock local time, 1 o'clock Greenwich Mean Time, on Wednesday to thunderous applause. We have won a huge vote of confidence from the people of Israel, he told his cheering supporters. Hours earlier, when exit polls predicted that Mr. Netanyahu's bloc would win 61 or 62 seats, the room had been a scene of celebration as people jumped up and down, waved flags and chanted his nickname, Bibi. One man repeatedly blew a chauffeur. Or ram's horn, a ritual instrument used by some Jewish people at times of special significance. At his party's camp in Tel Aviv however, current Prime Minister Yair Lapid told his supporters that nothing was yet decided and his center-left Yesh added party would wait for the final results. Mr. Netanyahu 73, is one of Israel's most controversial political figures, loathed by many on the center and left but adored by Likud's grassroots supporters. He is a firm supporter of Israel's settlement building in the West Bank, occupied since the 1967 Middle East War. Settlements there are considered illegal under international law, though Israel disputes this. He opposes the creation of a Palestinian state in the West Bank and Gaza Strip as a solution to the Israel-Palestinian conflict, a formula supported by most of the international community, including the Biden administration in the U.S. Mr. Netanyahu is also currently on trial for alleged bribery, fraud and breach of trust, charges he fiercely denies. His possible partners in a Likud-led coalition government have said they would reform the law, in a move which would bring a halt to his trial. According to the partial results, Likud stands to be the biggest party, with 32 seats, commanding a majority with the support of nationalist and religious parties. Yesh added, which led the coalition which brought down Mr. Netanyahu in elections last year, is projected to win 24 seats. Religious Zionism appears to have won 14 seats, which would make it the third largest party. It will be better now, said religious Zionism supporter, Julian, at the party's venue in Jerusalem. When, religious Zionism politician Itamar ben Gvir will be Minister of Public Security, it will be even better, he'll bring back security to the people of Israel. That's very important. However, political scientist Gail Talshir, from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, warned that if the exit polls reflect the real results, Israel is on its way to become Orban's Hungary, recently branded an electoral autocracy by the EU. If Mr. Netanyahu can secure a majority, it will stave off the prospect of a sixth election in just four years after analysts predicted deadlock.
It would mark a remarkable turnaround for Mr. Netanyahu, whose political future was widely written off after Mr. Lapid formed an unlikely alliance of ideologically diverse parties to take power in June 2021, with the uniting aim of making it impossible for Mr. Netanyahu to form a government. At the time, Mr. Netanyahu vowed to bring it down as quickly as possible and one year later the coalition government concluded it could not survive and collapsed after resignations meant it no longer had a majority.